Insiders alert here on Campus Insiders. Some college athletes are now one step closer to unionization. The Chicago arm of the National Labor Relations Board supporting the case fronted by former Wildcats quarterback Kane Coulter requesting football players be considered university employees. Coulter just tweeting how proud he was of the team working on the case and saying, quote, a huge win for all college athletes. Hashtag APU for all players united. Here with more details, our sports business insider, Chris. Christy Dodge. Christy, let's clear up something that seems to be very confusing about this story. If it holds up through appeals, who specifically would this ruling apply to? It's a much smaller group than people think. Not only does it only apply to student athletes at private universities, the ruling specifically said that only scholarship football players are employees. So walk-ons are not, and it does not apply to any sport outside of football. Well, it's kind of weird. Why would basketball not be included with this, considering that they are one of the two revenue-producing sports in college? I think it was simply based on the way this was presented to the National Labor Relations Board. I certainly think they have the same argument. And if this holds up, I think you'll see men's basketball added as well. Where do you think the NCAA stands in all of this? Because some of the things that the suit addresses pertain to NCAA rules like college scholarship value and the ability to do endorsements. Right. So now state and federal employment laws are going to apply to these scholarship football players at Northwestern. And some of those laws uh, aren't going to work under NCAA regulations and the NCAA can't force Northwestern to do something illegal. So the NCAA will have to to address this and adjust its rules, uh, not to mention the Title IX implications. So the federal government, I would imagine, would be getting involved down the road as well. Myriad complications here. All right, what is next regarding the appeals process and the timeline for that? So they can appeal both to a federal appellate court. It could eventually make it all the way to the Supreme Court. I do imagine that it'll be tied up in court for some time. My understanding from attorneys who practice in this area is that it could be two or three years. However, the student athletes at Northwestern who have been determined to be employees can move forward with forming their union right away. And that's that's what I was going to ask you in the interim. Do athletes start receiving benefits? Do they have negotiating rights? What What's their process now? Again, that takes some time. They're going to have to vote to unionize, to you know, elect someone in the group to sort of lead it. I mean, there's a lot of administrative kind of work that'll have to be done. Then they would potentially seek to collectively bargain with the university. But again, that does take some time. And you can imagine the university will try to stall it as long as possible so that they can move forward with their appeal. And what's your sense of how strong Northwestern's case actually is? You know, honestly, I thought Northwestern had a pretty strong case. I was surprised. I didn't think it would necessarily come down this way. The National Labor Relations Board is very political. It sort of de uh, depends on whether Democrats or Republicans are holding the positions there. Right now, it's Democratic leaning. They support unions. We have seen the National Rela Labor Relations Board rule one way, and two years later, when different appointees are on the board, rule the opposite way. So this is far from over. An ever intriguing story. Our Campus Insiders Business Insider, Christy Dosh, on the developing story of unionization in college. Christy, thanks so much for the time. Thank you.